everyone. Today in the studio with Miss Angel, we are going to be making paint poured flower pots. These can be quite messy, so I would suggest making them outside. But of course, I'm making them in the studio today so we can film everything for you to see. If you do need to make them at home in your house, I would suggest using a tray, a cookie sheet, something like that. Today I will be using a tray and I will be covering the tray with some paper towels. That way it just kind of catches all that paint. So we don't want it all over the house if we do have to do it inside. Now, if you're doing it outside, that is perfectly wonderful because you can find bricks, anything, just put them in a part of your yard where there's not gonna be anybody walking because you don't wanna get paint on your shoes and go in your house for sure. So as you see, I covered my tray. Next, like I said, outside you could use bricks. I'm gonna be just using these little cups, just something to set up the flower pot on just to let that paint drip off. So I'm gonna set these up. I'm gonna use three of them. The flower pots I'm using today aren't very big, but you can use whatever size flower pot you want. Even a gigantic one, you're just gonna need a lot of paint for it. These are the size that I will be using today. As you can see, they're just kind of smaller plants. They'll be great for herbs, anything like that, if you're gonna plant something in it, but I'll show you some other ideals here in a moment. So we just kind of set that up. And flower pots are easily purchased. You can get those at Lowe's, Walmart, just on your next trip out. They're very inexpensive, like a dollar or something like that. You probably have some around the house. I know what I did. Um, the paint we're gonna use, we're just gonna use some acrylic paint. You can get this at the store, 50 cents a bottle. As you can see, I have several different colors. I'm just gonna pick two or three to start out with. So I'll start with purple. Just open that up. You don't have to take the lid off. You just wanna make it working square. You just start going around, start at the top. Just kinda of let it droop around off of the flower pot. As you can see, it's kinda of running. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, it just runs around. And that's one color. And then just add some more colors because you wanna to try to cover as much of that terracotta look as possible. So then I'll just add some pink. Let's swirl around. And then after you get all the colors on, you can go back and fill in any spots. Just kind of hit them. And be sure to remember that gravity will run its course. So you'll see different colors throughout as it's running. I know there's some that I was looking at and was going, oh, that's such a pretty color. I wanted to stop there. But of course it was still running and I got more colors, which was just as pretty. So I'll just let that run. Generally it takes, I let mine set out when I did them outside for about two days in the sun. That way it's really baking in that paint. You don't want to set them out where they can get wet if it starts raining, anything like that. If you're going to keep them inside your house, you won't have to clear coat them, which is what I plan to do with mine. But if you're going to have them outside on a picnic table, anything like that, especially if you have a bigger one you want to set on your porch, be sure just to spray maybe some polyurethane, something over to seal that paint so it doesn't run off because this is acrylic, it is a water base. So if it rains a lot, it could run that paint off. So I'm gonna set this one to the side and show you some examples of the ones that I have made from my house. Here is one of them. As you can see, the colors is all ran down it. And this one, I don't have anything in. Also, when you do it, I, I haven't sanded these, but at the top where the paint has run down, it will actually gather a little bit there. If you just take like a file, just to kind of scrape that paint off to make it more of a smooth edge. Here's another one, which I just have a little flyer. I picked this up at Walmart on just one of my outings, but I really liked it with the color of the pot. And you can put styrofoam. I just have some paper in there, just kind of something to hold it together. And then here's another one that I've made, which it is more of a green, as, a, as you know, we are using a green screen in the studio, so it may look a little funny. Don't pay no attention to the green in my flower pot, but there's some orange and blue. Hopefully it will stick out for you so it may look a little funny. And I am using green flowers that I've made, and I know that they are blended in, but you can really see the orange one with the yellow. Hopefully that one's standing out for you. And this is something that we may make later on in a video. If you would like to see the flowers made in a video or similar flowers, just be sure and like us or leave me a little comment or something. But for all the creative videos that we're going to be showing in the studio, please be sure and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If there's something you would like, just let us know. Miss Brandy will show you where you can follow us. Thank you everyone. Tune in next time.